Ted White, quarterback coach. Um, right now, we're in the middle of training camp. Um, all the quarterbacks are doing a pretty good job. Uh, we have eight of them, you know, so um, all of those guys are getting reps, whether before practice, with our rehearsal period, um, whether during practice or even at practice with our younger guys. Um, we're excited where we're at right now with Ethan and all of the other guys that are competing. And uh, those guys are looking to be better every single day. Um, every day they come in with the mindset of just attacking the day, getting better every single day in situation football, whether it's red zone situation, third down situation. Um, today we had backed up situation. So anytime that we're able to continue to get better in situation football, uh, we have an opportunity to win football games. And that's what quarterbacking is about. You've got a bigger group than normal of eight. Uh, does that present challenges as far as, you know, working with so many guys, trying to get them reps in practice? Well, it, it, it does if you look at it like that. Um, you know, um, obviously everybody can't get reps on every single period. But as you see with those guys standing on the sideline, they're getting mental reps. Um, they're continuing to repeat the play. Um, after practice, we have a period to where we're able to work with the younger guys to make sure that they get an opportunity to run the plays that the starters have ran. So it's an opportunity for everybody to develop. So even though we have eight guys, all guys have an opportunity to continue to develop on the football field as well as in the mid -room. I feel like Justin was taking most of the reps at the number twos uh, on Saturday during the open practice we could watch. Is that, is he the number two right now or is that still an open competition? No, that's, that's still open competition. Uh, we have a lot of good young guys that are doing a great job. Justin is the one who's been here the longest. Um, he had an opportunity to go through the spring with us, had an opportunity to go through the summer. He's kind of, he's kind of uh, accustomed to the offense. Um, not saying that the younger guys aren't, but you got Nick Billups who's doing a great job. You got Henry Hasselback, um, Carson Garden. You got Luke Duncan. You got uh, the remainder of guys who are doing a really good job and competing for that backup job. So that job is still open, and we're still evaluating the quarterback position in that situation. For those who weren't, you know, who didn't have the benefit of spring camp, I guess what have been the early object objectives for them as they try to, you know, play catch up and, and learn this offense? Um, well, the beautiful thing about our training camp, you know, we get a chance to practice in the morning. Um, we have a technique through in the afternoon. We have meetings in between. Um, so just getting comfortable in calling the play, getting comfortable in just recognizing just the volume of offense that we have in and just understand exactly what we're trying to get accomplished on every single play. So um, obviously that takes some, some comfortable um, situations for guys to just continue to get repetitions, but the guys have been doing a great job just understanding exactly what we're trying to get done and uh, come out with the mindset of getting better every single day. What is Chase Griffin's role? Is he still going to be like scout team quarterback? Chase Griffin's role is, um, you know, he's competing for the backup job. Um, Chase is an experienced guy. He has an opportunity to play um, in the past but he's taking the leadership role. Chase is the leader, um, or one of the leaders in that quarterback room. And, uh, you know, the guys really respect him. Um, I respect him. And uh, he's doing a great job up to this point. Have you seen a player like him before? Because he's kind of in a unique situation where he's not the starter, but he brings so much leadership-wise and, you know, is a role model. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a role model, not just for UCLA, but just the city. You know, he's a guy that's one of our ambassadors for the NIL. Um, situation, but Chase has always been, since I've been here, he has been a great guy um, on and off the football field. He's been very respectful. Um, he's been very um, knowledgeable in the things that we're trying to get done. And every day, even though he hasn't had an opportunity to get a whole bunch of reps, he's always attacked the day as he want to get better every single day. So he's always treated every day as if he's the starter. What's, what's your confidence level that you think can be a elite? I think Ethan, um, Ethan is continuing to get better. Um, I think Ethan, um, he attacks every day um, with the mindset of wanting to get better. Um, he just was talking about, hey, let's go in there, let's watch the film, and just trying to correct some things that he may have thought that he didn't do as well as he wanted to do today. So that's what you want in the quarterback position. You obviously want the confidence, but you want a guy who's eager to learn every single day and uh, want to get better every single day. Where have you seen the most growth in him since when you started working with him in spring? His leadership skills. Um, he wasn't very vocal um, when I first got here, but now he's feeling more comfortable with the offense. And, uh, you know, a leader is not always liked, but they're always respected. And uh, he's very demanding on what he wants to get done on every single play. And the guys love him, you know, and we love him the way that he's attacking every single day. And, uh, you know, t attacking situation football, just making sure that he's doing everything that we possibly can do to win football games.
does he have, the does he even have kind of like a sense of humor too? Because some of the guys have said like behind closed doors he's. Kind oh, of he's he's very funny. He's very funny. You know, it might not seem on the football field because he's so locked in into what we're trying to get accomplished on on every single play. But yeah, he's very funny. He can say a couple of jokes that makes the quarterback room laugh. But uh, he has these dry jokes, like these dry jokes to uh, you know kind of get everybody going um, in the morning. Is when he's at his most with the joking matter and stuff like that. So I love him. I love his uh, you know his character. I love his uh, just uh, his personality, and he's getting better every single day. You guys already uh, determined what kind of situations you're going to put the quarterbacks in for Saturday's open practice, or is that still to be, to be that, determined? That's still to be, to be determined um, between Coach Foster and, and Coach B. Enemy. Um, all I know is that we have practice. You know, we live every day, one practice at a time, one walkthrough at a time, and just continue to get better in every situation that we have. The three crew freshmen you have, can you take us through maybe their relative strengths that you've seen so far, Gordon, Hasselbeck, and uh, Davis? Um, Davis, um, a guy who's already been in a college situation with at University of Washington, um, a guy who's a dual threat quarterback who has a tremendous arm. Um, he's very raw right now. He's just getting in um, throughout the summer. So everything right now is kind of running into each other, especially when we put plays in. Um, that he's not familiar with. So I have to do a great job of making sure that I meet with him every single day um, without the older group just to make sure that he understands exactly what we're trying to get accomplished on every single play. Um, Henry Hasselback, great guy, um, understands the pro system, comes from a background. His dad played in the same system that we have here. Um, so things make sense to him, you know. Um, he does a great job with the play call. I love his energy and uh, every opportunity that he gets a chance to get a rep you know, he always makes the best of it. All right, and Carson Garden, another guy who's young, um, has a very promising future, um, very athletic guy, can make every throw in the football field and just continue to get better every single day. As a position coach, what kind of challenges does it present when so many guys, you know, they don't have that collegiate experience, they haven't, you know, most of them haven't played in the game. Uh, what kind of challenges does that present on a day-to-day -day basis of you try to figure out who that number two guy is? Um, well, not, it's, it's, no, it's not any challenges, really, because I'm a teacher. I look at myself as a teacher. Um, I look at myself as a guy who loves to develop quarterbacks, and that's all in the maturation process. Um, whether he's a freshman, transfer, um, transfer portal guy, it doesn't matter. You know, everybody in our quarterback room will have an opportunity to develop and um, get an opportunity to play at some point.